to April. This video is for your sun sign. And while you can use it for any part of your chart, this video right here is going to tell you why it is for your sun sign and then how you should also be using, you know, your rising sign, your moon sign to navigate different things like the love video right here that's going to be coming out pretty soon as well as the career video over here that you can be looking forward to. And so if you want to catch those, make sure that you're subscribed and you hit the notification bell and let's get started. This month, we're going to look at the general theme, the beginning, middle, and end of the month, what's going to be going super well for you this month, what's your biggest challenge going to be, what you should be avoiding this month, and then the best way to use this month to your advantage, as well as finding out what your crystal of the month is. The decks that I'm using today are the Cosmic Tribe Tarot and the Fuck It deck. If you want information on those, I do have affiliate links in the bottom because a bitch has to get paid. Okay, here we go. Aries, your general theme for the month is deception, lies, secrets. What is not being talked about? What is not being discussed? Something or someone is being sneaky. Um, is it you? <laughs> let's, let's find out. Is it you? No. Is somebody around you? Is that you? Is it somebody around you? Yeah. Yeah, somebody around you. So who should you be on the lookout for? And this might be different for all the Aries watching, but they're saying somebody that you know you need to step away from, but you care about them, so it's hard, right? So this could be, for example, a um, love relationship. It's like, man, I know that my partner is, you know, just totally a shithead and not right for me, but I love them because we have happy memories. And so like, I gotta walk away, but I'm not ready. Or it could, maybe it's hard I mean, that's already really hard, right? But sometimes family members are even harder. It's like, oh my God, my mom is like so toxic, but she's my mom, <laughs> you know? Um, but it's that kind of a situation. Somebody is not telling you the truth. They're hiding something from you. And um, so that's just kind of something to keep in mind for the month because, I mean, that's a shitty way to start a reading. I apologize, but I always have to tell you the truth. Otherwise, there's no point in doing them. Um, okay, so the beginning of the month, this is you feeling a lot of feelings, good and bad, more good than bad. Middle of the month, they're like, remember you're not tied to anything, okay? And I think this is going back to that concept of like, I feel like I can't leave, like I put a lot of love and energy into this, it's important to me, and but like, I'm being misguided. Um, so they're saying like, if you choose not to, if you choose to stay there, um, in whatever situation you are in, whatever kind of like emotional attachment you have to a circumstance or a person that is like not telling you the truth or kind of hurting you that way. It's, um, cause this could also be a job. So in this circumstance, it's like, you know what? Um, it's a choice if you stay. Like you feel like you don't have a choice, but you do always have a choice, okay? So then the end of the month, what is the vibe? And they're like, this is a now the end, we're less disappointed. Like there's nothing to be sad about. Um, we're feeling connected with other people. Maybe you even meet a soulmate. Um, maybe you make a deep emotional bond and connection with somebody new or you strengthen that with somebody that you already have in your life. So that's fantastic. Um, what is going to go super well for you this month? And they're just saying time for rest. You get more rest, you get more relaxation. That's fantastic. Either better sleep or, um, you know, more sleep, that's really great. And this is actually gonna help you to step into that Empress energy. Um, I always refer to the Empress as like, if uh, a good example would be like, if the sun stopped shining, she would shine in its place. The Empress energy is very nurturing, it's very supportive, it's kind, it's funny, it's joyful, it's pure love, and people are very drawn to it. It's that it factor, right? Um, and so that's fantastic. The more sleep you get, the more it factor you are. Hey, um, what is going to be the biggest challenge for you this month? And they're saying uh, not talking about things or the lies that you might have to deal with and how much that bums you out and like how unselfish you are in like sitting there and listening to the excuses and like the reasons or like even more lies and bullshit. They're like, and that's not going to change overnight, and that's going to be really hard to cope with, unfortunately, wherever that's coming from. So uh, what is it that you need to be avoiding this month? And they're saying um, the idea, because it was in reverse, the idea that you can't conquer things. You can. 
You can totally get through this. And that's where it comes back to that idea of mindset where it's like, oh, well, I don't think I can do this or, you know, but you can. It's a choice. It's not an easy choice, but you can. You can do anything you set your mind to. Okay. So the best way to use this month to your advantage is change. Sometimes things have to be lit on fire, right? Um, Sometimes we have to burn things to the ground so that new and better things can be built in their place. Death to an old circumstance, situation, relationship, so that something new can be reborn. And that's kind of um, where you want to have your head. So this is the crystal that can help you out this month. Um, You can read all about it at my blog post in the description box below. And I'll see you in May.